So there are a couple of things with plain drawing that I wanted to share with you. So as you can see here, I'm drawing on part of a cube. I've deleted the other faces and then subdivided. And with X, Y and Z symmetry, I've created these lines. I've also created a couple of boxes in the background with array mesh. So if you create a couple of cubes with array mesh and then unify. So I have 10 boxes, one, well, I have one, two, three, four, five boxes and a ground plane. So if I go into solo mode and change my color, then you see that I have one, two, three, four, five boxes actually, but I've included the ground plane so that when you unify, this will fit perfectly inside the cube, just like that. And then with transparency, then you can draw out those lines and with X symmetry and Y and Z symmetry all together. So if you turn that on, then you can start drawing. So you fill object with your color and then when you use black, you click, then hold shift so that can, you can go straight down like that. And on the side view, you can do the same if necessary. So start drawing, click, hold shift to create a straight line or and you have to be careful that you don't smooth because if you hold shift first, then you start smoothing. That's not the point. So click and then hold shift and then you can draw out straight lines. And then you have your boxes as a reference for the total number of heads. If you want to, you can turn that on and off. And when you've progressed, and want to start on the side view, then you could use the transpose line. So if I activate the transpose line, see I have drawn out now it's in the Z, I click in the X direction. And if I want, for instance, my upper eyelid, then I put it over that upper eyelid, of course, then rotate a bit, click the blue circle to go into the Z direction. I always go back into the raw mode so that I don't accidentally move my transpose line. And then I press Alt A. And I will explain later why I press Alt A and I'm going to deactivate the Y and Z symmetry for now because I don't need it anymore. And now when I press the W key for my transpose line, I have a perfect indication of where my upper part of the eyelid is. So when I press, hold my cursor over the transpose line, press the Q key and I start drawing. So that is my upper part of that eyelid. So you don't have to draw these lines for every part that you want to indicate. As you can see, you can simply use the transpose line so go back into X like that and now I press Alt Q and that will also be explained later on. So again, W for the transpose line. If I want to indicate where the hair line is, again, same workflow, rotate a bit, Z direction, Q for draw, Alt A, W and now I know over here, that's where my hairline starts. So Q to go into draw mode. And I know that's where my hair will go. So, and what's this business with Alt A and Alt Q? Well, if I press Alt A, then I go into that view. When I press Alt Q, I go into that view. When I press the left arrow key, and I have to press the right first because I have set some keys on my timeline. So I will, I will, 
make, not make much sense. So I've set a few keys. So for the front, I've pressed the F key to frame and added a key to the timeline. And for my right view, I've set another key, also frame, and then press the key. So then with my uh, arrow keys, I can go to my front view and my left view. And what is Alt-A and Alt-Q? Well, I've integrated the paint stop buttons, sorry, the zap link buttons, custom one and custom two, and clear all into my custom UI. And I've assigned hotkeys to them. So custom one is Alt-Q and custom two is Alt-A. So that way I can quickly switch to a global front view with the arrow keys or a global side view again with the arrow keys, pressing the left arrow key, the right arrow key. Like that. And that is because of the keys in the timeline. And I don't need the timeline anymore. And when I want to zoom in, I press Alt Q to go to my front view, Alt A, which is custom two, to go to my side view. If later on I'm drawing on another part of the body and I want another custom view, then I simply press clear all, clear all views. So now they are cleared. If I press custom one or custom two, yeah, of course, we, by pressing them, I've set those views again. So now when I press custom one or the left arrow key to go into that view and press alt Q, I go back into that view. This again, clear all, so clear. And now set your view. So for instance, if I want for my next part to be that view, then that's my custom tool. And then I simply rotate and drag over here to have the same proportion, custom one. So now when I press Alt A, I'm going to that view and Alt Q, I'm going to this view. So I wanted to share this workflow with you. It can be useful also in other applications. So when you are working with transpose line, you can draw it out. For instance, if I want to know where the ear starts and then on another side, simply plus the Z circle, I always go into draw mode to not re oh, reposition my transpose line. Now when I go to Alt A and W, and I know perfectly over here, that's the ear. So Q for draw mode. And that is where my ear starts. So thinking if there is anything else that I wanted to share with you. Oh yeah, so as you can see, I've also all already added an eye, eyes in the background. So you can add, of course, other geometry to eight. There are so many possibilities. The only thing that I would do different next time is my planes. So I've started with a cube and deleted the other faces but next time I will simply use two singular planes that are not attached and then I will not have to go into such high subdivision. So I have 50 million polys right now which is way too much and that is because I had to add extra geometry and because these are so I've, I have creased them, so Shift F, and when I go to my lowest subdivision, I've creased them, but I have added also these subdivisions in order to not have my planes distort when I subdivided them. So next time, if I start with two separate planes, then I will not have to go to such high poly count in order to draw. So I think I've covered everything that I wanted to cover. Um, so in document Zeppelin properties, I've integrated these into my UI, custom one and custom two in the clear out button.
So I can simply create a custom view. So we write clear all, clear. And this one, for instance, now I'm going to work on the body. Press custom one. Go to the side view. Move over. Custom two. And I've assigned hotkeys to them like I've shown you. Alt Q and Alt A. So Alt Q, Alt A. And because my keys in the timeline, I can press the arrow keys to go to my standard. And sometimes you have to press a couple of times before it works. So that way you can quickly navigate around and with the transpose line indicate where you your light marks are if you will. So I hope you found this useful. Bye!